When Brian is drunk, he calls me the most disgusting, vulgar names that I would never repeat on television. He will drive me crazy asking to go out for a drink over and over again until I get worn down and worn out enough where I just give in. We'll go get a drink. And I'll fool her into having a drink, and then I'll have a drink, and then I'll keep having another one and another one. So the drinks then lead to him wanting to get a bag of cocaine, at which point I have surrendered and given up because I cannot fight any longer. If I try to stop him, he'll just take off and he'll be gone for a day, two days. I just never know. Give me my car back. He will literally physically stumble out the door, bouncing off the walls, and leave the house on a mission to find coke or crack. He'll either hang out on the streets for hours or he'll end up hanging out at one of his homies' houses. Just last week, he went on a bender for three days, ended up spending about $1,000, came home broke. So why are you in my couch right now? Because I'm looking for You know what, you already tore up my couch, so it's time to stop. When Brian is high, he gets paranoid that he hid something, and so he will pick apart anything that is the closest thing to him, swearing that he left or hid some drugs in there, or he'll accuse me of stealing his drugs. Oh, you lost your weed? No, I got my weed. I'm just saying, where's my weed, woman? The love of his life, I named her Crackahol because a man that loves something that much and is willing to lay down his life for her, sacrifice his children, sacrifice his, quote, wife, is clearly in love with that. I ask you what it's like on a good day when things are really good in your life. Tell me what it's like on a really dark day. Do you not like yourself? What, what do you say to yourself? I didn't want to cry on the show, man. I didn't want to cry on the show. That's OK. Just talk through the tears. It doesn't matter. Um, I, I want to hurt myself even more. You know what I'm saying? Why? Why do you deserve to be hurt? Because, uh, um, because I, I didn't feel worthy of being loved when I was a kid, you know? Um, the reason why I became the fighter that I became was because that was the only, for me, it was the only attention I could get from people. You know what I mean? Oh, if they love me now, I'm the champ. You know? Um, as far as my mother's concerned, my mother gave me up to my grandparents. She would promise me that she'd come get me, but I'd sit there and wait. Now, when you promise a child that you're gonna go get them, or that they're gonna be with you again, and the mother doesn't show up, I go crazy, man. Like, what? My mother didn't come when she used to pump in there counting days, like I'm in prison or something, you know? And it tore me up. And it's a shame to say so, but it's hurting me today. You know, I'm 47 years old, you know? And I missed out because of my drug use and because of my drinking. I missed out on a lot of things. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.